students this is Yokumar 11th standard mathematics chapter number 1 exercise 1.2 now problem number 1 subdivision number 1 listen discuss the following relations for reflexivity symmetricity and transitivity that means reflexive symmetric and transitive subdivision number one the relation r is defined on the set of all positive integers by m is related to n if m divides n this is a relation this one is the statement Here is the question. Here M and N belong to set of all positive integers that is Z plus. You know very well Z represents integers, set of all integers. Z plus means positive integers. Positive integers and natural numbers are seen. Now we can verify one by one. You start with the reflexive, reflexive. For reflexive, first you have to write the statement. Statement. What is the statement? M divides N. For your reference, write the statement first. What is the statement? M divides N. That is a statement. M divides. Instead of N, you have to take the same M only. For reflexive, according to that definition, A is related to A only. Okay. So here M divides M only. Yes, obviously, a number is the divisible by the same number therefore here you have to write the relation that is m is related to m m is related to m therefore the relation or is reflexive very simple uh, for your reference, uh, I write one example. You can easily understand. This is for our reference only. Example. M divides M. I take uh, 5 divides 5. That means 5 is divided by 5. You will be getting 1. Yes, that is a quotient. Reminder is a reminder is 0. Quotient is 1, reminder is 0. So, we can say 5 divides 5 or is reflexive. Next, uh, symmetry. That is actually symmetric, not symmetry, symmetric. Okay. For uh, symmetric, uh, first you have to write the relation, then statement. Relation, statement, again statement, finally relation. This is the order. Once again I tell you relation, statement, statement relation okay listen relation m is related to n i take m is related to n here it is given that means now we have to write the statement what is the statement given m divides n m divides n Now, 
reverse statement n divides m is it possible no n does not divide m i'll give an example example only for our reference i take uh, 2 divides 4 2 divides 4 means 4 is divided by 2 that is the meaning of 2 divides 4 4 is divided by 2 yes you will be getting the value 2 2 is the quotient and the remainder is 0 so obviously 2 divides 4 now look at the reverse reverse 4 and 2 4 does not divide 2 yes absolutely that means 2 by 4 you are getting 1 by 2 only you are getting the decimal value only if you are getting decimal value we can say that is not divisible so what you have to say n doesn't divide m 4 doesn't divide 2 so here the relation does not satisfy so what you have to write now n n is not related to m right what is the statement m divides n but n does not divide m means n is not related to m here we start with m is related with n but n is not related with m we have proved therefore or is not symmetric now we can go for the third part transitive transitive for transitive write the relation first then statement again statement finally you write the relation for symmetric and transitive same order a relation statement statement relation that is the order remember for relation according to the definition of transitive you have to take like this m is related to n and n is related to p statement according to that uh, problem the definition is m divides n m divides n which implies m divides n means n can be written as some constant time i take k1 k1 k k1 times m that is the meaning m divides n means n can be written as some constant times m i'll give an example i take the example here in general only have tried this example only for our reference listen carefully m divides n i take uh, uh, 2 divides or even it can take uh, 5 5 divides 10 even it can take 15 20 25 i take 10 only so which implies that 10 can be written as 2 times 5 correct according to that m divides n what i written n that is equal to k1 times m so 10 that is equal to 2 times 5 2 into 5 or 10 so this is n this is k this is m understand and look at that here 
ends with n and starts with n like that here ends with 10 so you have to start with 10 10 divides 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 I take uh, 70 even you can take uh, 50 60 and all I have taken 70 which implies 70 equals 7 times 10 correct 70 equals 7 times 10 right n is related to p that means and n divides p 10 divides 10 means 70 means 70 that is equal to 7 times 10 so this can be written as p that is equal to k2 times n p that is equal to k2 times and you compare these two p what is the value of p 70 k2 k2 value 7 n n that is equal to 10 now which implies what is the number here starting one is 5 starting one is 5 and the ending one is 70 5 divide 70 therefore therefore 5 divides 70 which implies 70 can be written as 14 times 5 the 14 that is k1 into k2 what is the value of k1 2 k2 7 here k1 here k2 k1 that is equal to 2 k2 equals 7 this can be written as 2 into 7 now I write the result here which implies n that is equal to k1 right as it is this m can be written as right here sorry p equals k2 right as it is this n can be replaced by what is n k1 into m k1 into m so p that is equal to k1 into k2 or k2 into k1 that is equal to m what is the meaning m divides p this is absolutely constant k1 times k2 times so which implies m divides p what i have tried m divides p therefore m divides p means what is the result m is related to p according to this problem so we have proved or is reflexive but or is not symmetric here or is transitive So problem number one, subdivision one is completed. I'll be teaching that next problem that is subdivision two in the next video. Thank you children.